there's a, there's a huge wave of people trying to live differently, trying to live in better harmony with nature, yeah. uh, trying to understand the way forward. So that's the hope. It's saying that we've come to the end of the capacity of the earth to support this economy. So environmentally, in terms of supply of resources, in terms of levels of inequality, everything about the system is now broken. The planet is still on a downward trajectory, nature is. So I feel this desperation to go on traveling and talking to more and more young people, because if we leave the meeting point too late, then there's no hope anymore. In both the environment and the market, we were practicing the exact same accounting. What do I mean? In both the market and Mother Nature, we were underpricing risk. We were allowing the people who did that to privatize the gains. And then when the losses happened, we socialized the losses across our whole country, in some ways the whole world. So in the market, we allowed people who were giving these really bad mortgages to underprice the risk of those mortgages. We allowed the people who did that to privatize their gains. And then when they blew up all the banks, we socialized the losses across every American taxpayer, and to some degree, people all over the world. The problem is a disease, and I call it the disease of disconnect. Because if you're disconnected from the planet, which many of us now are, you can destroy it and not realize that you're destroying your very own self. We're doing the exact same thing in Mother Nature. We massively underpriced the risk of emitting all this carbon and burning fossil fuels. We allow the companies to do that, the coal and oil and gas companies to do that, to privatize the gains. But we're then socializing the losses in the form of future climate change, future disruptive climate change, on your credit card and mine. Who's driving, who's driving the ship? Who is directing yeah. where our whole species is going? Who has our human interests? Yeah. At heart. Ik zou het woord crisis echt willen gebruiken voor, voor echt ernstige dingen waar acuut iets aan moet gebeuren. Waar wel een crisis is, um, is misschien in onze eigen manier van denken over dingen. Dat we alles uh, uh, ja, op een soort heigerige manier voortdurend als heel ernstig en als crisis en als drama willen presenteren. So basically, you know, we had this idea many years ago that we could grow the economy forever. That, that is the way we will fix every problem. Poverty, technology, social stability will come from growing the economy. But in the end, you realize that's physically impossible. So the question now is not, can we stop global warming? It's, can we stop it at some level where we can still have something that looks like civilizations? And that's a very open question. Um, two degrees will be very hard to cope with. Four degrees, uh, impossible, probably. So we can make a huge difference. A huge difference. It's the greatest, most important fight that human beings have ever engaged in. Voortdurend vragen stellen. Dat is de kracht die je hebt. Is vragen stellen, dingen niet als vanzelfsprekend aannemen. You care in the world today. It is the second most courageous thing you're going to do. The first most courageous thing you're going to do is find a way to turn that care into action. If I can get America to lead, so many people will copy us. And if I can get America to lead, and we can trigger the Earth race. You know, in the Cold War, we had the space race. Only two countries could compete and only one could win. Who yeah. could be the first to put a man on the moon? I want to trigger the Earth race. Who can be the first to invent all the green technologies so men and women can stay here on Earth? If you want to be current, if you want to be relevant in the 21st century society, you have to throw, you have to throw away that old school way of doing things because there's something happening and you're going to be left behind. And if America leads, and then the EU says, oh, we want to compete with them, and then India says, we want to compete with them, and China says, we want to compete with them, and suddenly we have this Earth race of who can invent the most green technologies so men and women can live here on Earth, yeah. then we'll all win. What is it in your life that calls you and causes you to be bigger than you know yourself to be? Every individual makes a difference every day. You make an impact on the world and you have a choice as to what kind of impact you're going to make.